Man, oh man. Damn, Pio. Our town. Used to be my drugstore. Used to get my magazines at. Downtown Camp Hill, Alabama. This is what's left of the pharmacy store. I used to come and get my um, karate magazine, muscle magazines, and just dream of building myself and wanting to be like Bruce Lee and always thinking, man, that's, I, I can do this too, I can do this too. Meanwhile, everybody else saying, no, you can't. You crazy. You know, fuck wrong with you. I'm looking at them. Uh, if you read the damn magazine, you'll see they're doing it. What's different? And you see the rest of remnants of what's left. I can't remember what kind of store that used to be. Every single one of them. I remember when they was like bustling stores. It was busy. And then uh, change stopped. And then this is this road, the street, downtown Camp Hill, where I said time and time again, you know, when people want to go and they talking head bullshit. And I always say about this corner that I'll never forget. As long as I live, I don't know what this is. I guess it's a store, uh, no name store. But anyway, this corner right here, this corner right here where I stood, Right here, just like this. Little kid, seven years old. Right here. And we watched a battalion of Ku Klux Klan march right down this road. Right down that road, right there. And kept on going. My dad had to explain to me what it was and go really in depth with, as far as they're concerned, where we stood. Okay. Yeah. Still where I started. It is what it is. Just ran into one of my classmates. <laughs> you see me walking around. He knew it was me too. And he said, what are you doing? I said, yeah, you know, I'm documenting um, my uh, seed of motivation. He goes, gotcha. <laughs> so, peace. Spot here it used to be a, a car dealership where I came in, punched me in the chest, called me a boy, actually punched me three times in the chest, called me a boy and told me, well, basically sent me out the door, didn't even want to take my money or nothing. Yep, yep, yep. All got our memories. We probably uh Natural heavy bag, all these pine trees. God damn, everywhere. Just <laughs> the view from the back porch of my sister's house, which now resides on the land that used to be our house. Same yard. A shitload of grass, as you can see. Look like the same gas tank from way back then too. Uh, this yard used to take me two and a half hours to cut. And I'd get it done once every two weeks. And this is my famous workout tree. God dang this thing. It's literally twice the height. No, three times maybe three and a half times the height and almost the trunk of it twice the size it was i used to come down here and do all my calisthenics and whatever weight training and stuff i had and what's funny i can't see i can't tell which one of those limbs at the time was the one i used to do my chin-ups on because it didn't break it just grew up too 
I always have to come here and say hi to my tree. Because many, 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 many days it's just me and this damn tree. Yep. That's a fact. What up, partner? <laughs> Much nicer setting now. Much nicer house, too. know your country and you literally can remember which tree you played in when you were a kid growing up and you grow up and reflect and that particular tree this is big now still here amazing talk about not having distractions and it's still here still here I can't see behind it's uh, so many bush and trees and so forth grown up can't see where the garden used to be. Can't see where the, <clears throat> there's a pig pen back here. Let's see if that structure is still there. Yeah, it's still there. I don't know if you can see through some of that, you can see the door to it. Wow. It used to be grass, mostly. And this was my playground. My childhood. So when I was talking, I said, I gotta go see the shack. She goes, why? I said, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. The seed of passion, I suppose. 